Hi everyone and welcome back to our little UK fish room. So it's Friday night and we thought we'd do an update on our fish room and in particular the crosses, the guppy and inner crosses that we have going on. I know you guys are quite interested in them so I'll show you the progress and how we're doing. So we'll start with possibly my favourite cross so far. And these were the Gingarubra guppies crossed with Blue Star Enlers. Now, that one in particular in the middle, I really like him. These are the F2s. We've got F3s in here as well, the little babies. When they get a little bit bigger, we'll be able to show you. I'm not sure if you remember, but we did show you the F2s of these in the last video on this cross and you can see that little blonde one in the bottom left hand of the, the camera we showed you that one, that one's getting older hopefully when they get a little bit bigger we'll be able to show you how the F3's turned out but so far they all seem to be breeding true and I'm really happy with them although I did get a couple of bad comments in the uh, comment feed someone said well who wants a grey guppy but to me I don't think they're grey obviously the females are but that's the same with pretty much every guppy Unless it's blonde or I'll be not. But there you go. Uh, moving on. So as a cross we've been trying to do for about three, four months now. It's a red cap cobra guppy. With a blue star and the female. Unfortunately we have zero fry. And I believe it's because we left the female way too long. And if you're going to breed female guppies from virgins you don't want to leave them too long because the membrane does get too thick and then the males can't penetrate it so I don't think this is a non-starter we may have to just scrap this one and obviously he's getting quite old as well bless him uh, let's move over to this rack so this one was a bit disappointing I think everyone's a bit disappointed with this this was a tiger enla cross of a gingaruba guppy and they all turned out pretty much just like this bog standard Tiger Enla. These are the F1s, but we do have a lot of F2s in here. There's one there, it's blonde, and it looks like it's going to turn out to be a blonde Tiger Enla. So, yeah, the F2s, there's a blonde female as well, so the F2s are going to be quite interesting. There's quite a lot of fry in here, not all of them blonde. But it is surprising to see so many blonde fry turn up. Next one, this was a blue star enla crossed with a white Moscow guppy. I can't remember if it, which way around it was. The beauty of uh, YouTube is we can go back and double check and keep an eye on what we've previously crossed because we won't always remember. But these are the F2s that turn out quite nice. There is another one in here. That's got a nice blue sheen to him as well, but we've just been doing a water change and uh, running the power head on that tank, so it doesn't look so great. Up here we have the F2, uh, sorry, F1s of a stack cross with a green black bar inla. We've done this video as well. They seem to be getting more colour. I probably do the videos a little bit too soon than what I should because they're don't seem to be fully coloured up when I do do the video so I probably should wait a little bit longer we have a lot of fry in here as you can see which are the F2's we'll see how they turn out this one I'm excited about so the blonde ones are a blonde blush guppy and I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen of what they look like and I'll show you a male in a second and the males are scissor tail guppies so we do have a lot of fry in here from these already, the F1 fry, but they're all non-blonde, which I was kind of expecting, hoping for actually. So what we're hoping for is like a scissor tail, where's the male? Where are you gone? Scissor tail, guppy, but with more red on it, it's disappeared. I'll show you a male. This is quite a young male, it's the only one we've got left of the blonde blush strain. I mean, he probably looks a bit poor to you guys right now, but when his flea colour appears really nice, his whole chest goes bright red, why well, they're called blonde blush. But right now, it's not particularly colourful, so what else have we got in the fish room? So, this is doing quite well, our new racking unit. We're very happy with this. We've blocked off the 
gaps in between the aquariums with some ac black acrylic and it just looks so much better now so we also started live streaming Cory Shrine now calling Cory Cam to was it 23 countries babe? I think it's around 20 20 countries it's going really well we're also attempting Zenzo Cam That's not going so great. Anyway, what else? So this, two more racking shelves to go and match the one on the right, as you can see. We're just waiting for the aquariums to come now. Uh, we had a phone call today. Three of them are ready, so hopefully we'll get them next week. And we can do this side. We might change up the middle side and put a an, an extra shelf in and maybe get custom tanks that aren't as tall as them that way we can set them up more for like quarries and uh, shrimp we haven't decided yet but it might be nice to have the free that side one one size free that size and four in the middle let us know what you think in the comments we haven't decided yet for sure so these guys are still in quarantine we were gonna I released them into our main aquarium but then I noticed the white spot that they had has come back although I've put in some treatment and it all seems to be cleared up again so happy about that and we come to our last cross so these are the ones that we really liked as well these are the F1s the males are getting much larger tails now let's see if we can change the focus yeah, the males get much larger tails. And we do have tons of fry in here as well. So we'll be able to show you how the F2 turns out with them. And I think that's it for this update, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. So just a quick update, show you how we're getting on. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.